staffing agencies work as a medium. I understand the work as a medium to employ people, but nowadays it has become so that they also work as a medium to exploit the rights for the employer. And in this way, the employer, the client, avoids all sort of contact with the employee. I have been working in Canada for almost four years, but I have no insurance. That's why I'm not going physiotherapy. And your physiotherapy is $70 per $70 per day. Do you have health insurance? Uh, no. Why? <laughs> this is the reality. We have that problem. We work, but we don't have benefit. We work, we don't have this stable job. I must work three jobs for seven days a week. When I work seven days in a week, I never find time to spend with my family to take care of my girls' needs, etc. She begged to agency. Ma'am, we are not forcing you, but you must be available to grab work. Yes, no one but reality forces her. She says, how me and my husband will pay my rent? He is also an on-call worker. My rent is $1,200 per month. My food cost? Please do not love. I have to cut it to $300, whereas I need minimum 500. I line up to food bank and grab all backdated food. When people come together, I feel the voice is louder and the government can actually hear it. And when they hear it, then these practices will be stopped. Workers are making less than $15 an hour. They're making $11, $45, $12 an hour with no benefits, no pensions. At those wages, you're under the line of poverty, and that's unacceptable. The single most important labor law affecting our community's working people is the minimum wage. We want the minimum wage raised to a living wage, starting with an immediate increase to $15 per hour. It will provide adequate money for our family to think about good food and better comfortable shelter. We demand living wage and real job. We need to force our governments to start taking actual action. This is not only a fight for you know, low-skilled precarious work, this is a fight for all workers. I'm excited about uh, the possibilities of changing our Employment Standards Act. These recommendations, if they do go through, are going to uh, change the landscape of how the workers are in the workplaces and what their work life experience will be.